my channel, I wanted to... I have a whole bunch of ideas. <laughs> I wanted to do a get ready with me for my second video, being that it is my birthday. And I figured there's really no other time for me to like get really dressed up. I spend my day to day in like leggings and workout clothes. And if I do makeup, I do no makeup makeup, which means like I take my finger, ew, cringe, I know. And I'll just dab a little bit of concealer, call it a day. I have done my skincare. I have mentioned this one before. It's the Tasha Rice Wash. Everything I have is pretty much Tasha. Endorse me. <laughs> I love their rice wash because my skin is very sensitive and if I use anything with too many chemicals in it or that's too rough I'll break out in hives or uh, my chin will start feeling like really dry. I have combination skin so on top of it being sensitive I have to be really wary about the skincare that I use. So the rice wash is great and after I use it I actually have that after facial feeling. So. That's how you know it's good. I will use the essence water from Sasha and I will home alone it, meaning <laughs> I'll put a little bit of the water on my hands and just tap it in. I don't know what the tap and do or the smack in. I just think that it'll penetrate a little bit better. I like to use the dewy serum. I think that it works as a primer as well, just because of the consistency of it. And I feel like it just, I don't know, it leaves your face very smooth. I Love, la 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 la, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Again, very sensitive skin, and I also have sensory issues. Anything on my skin makes me feel, I don't know if claustrophobic is the word, but when I have heavy makeup on my face, I literally cannot think about anything else but peeling it off that's all i think about when we were doing the podcast i would actually get my makeup done and i love my makeup artist she's amazing and she knows how to do a light beat but even with the light beat i would be sitting there during the podcast and i was like mm -hmm. luminous silk is so so light and it, somehow it has really great coverage and it still looks like second skin so that's what we like i like to stay in brand I don't really like to mix match, right? So I stayed with the concealer. This is the Luminous Silk Giorgio Armani Concealer. I have really tried to not like this. For some reason, the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Shape Tape Setting Powder. Some roast me for having a travel size, okay? I got it on vacation somewhere, so. I was trying to make it work. It has not done me wrong. I did get this Hatcha setting powder and I'm hoping that I can kind of switch. Like I said, I don't like mixing brands. This one, I don't know, dude. I don't know, I think I'm just like attached. I think I have a, a, an attachment to the Tarte. Basically, let's get into it. I usually have three colors, right? I use the six 0.25 throughout the whole year. I am still a little tan, so I'm gonna go with the 7.5. I just recently got a hair glaze. It feels very dark and healthy. And what I would do is, when I don't put on concealer, sometimes I feel like I have a greater outcome. I have been told that I have deep orbital <laughs> bones whatever that means i tend to crease a lot if i do put concealer on so i don't normally like to you run it low i like to avoid the crease under my eye i don't know if people do their nose pen too wow this is like a lot for me so i just blend i don't know why i'm making that noise it's like have you seen what's that movie with Julia Roberts' stepmom when she's like teaching when she's like first bonding with the girl? She's teaching her to paint or something, and she's like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. all of a sudden she loves her. And she's like, oh my god, you're the best stepmom ever. Random, I know. So now I feel like I've done a little bit more. Add the setting powder around my nostrils. If you notice, I don't put 
foundation or anything on my nose because I feel like I really like my freckles and also when I cover them I look really weird to myself like I don't look like myself it's just more of it makes it more apparent that I have like a mask on it just doesn't feel right I like my freckles okay I do like a little bit of bronzer right that's a lot I think I did this wrong but it's okay so what i did was i took this is actually from rare beauty and it's a concealer but obviously it's meant for women who have more pigment i feel like i had seen somewhere that if you grab a concealer that's darker than yourself and you mix it with your own foundation you get your perfect bronze so that is what i am doing You're not? Nope. Why don't you want to make a cameo? Say hello to the people. Hello, people. Yeah, don't be weird. <laughs> I need a haircut. You can't just jump too early, you know? It's a plan. The madness. Anyway. Anyway. Hmm. What? Oh, they're outside? I see your point. Huh? What's that? what's that? I think I've done too much. I think you're supposed to like make your forehead smaller, right? Although I already have a pretty small forehead for a big head girl. I think that's good. Um, what I do also like is a little bit of blush. All right, so obviously I need sound effects. If that's what we're getting at here. <laughs> I am realizing that I probably do this all the time. I just don't record myself, so I'm not aware of it. But I feel like that looks good. And yes, I'm a finger user. I'm not a professional makeup artist. Let me clean off my hand. <laughs> Here's my story time. I have been doing eyelash extensions for about two consecutive years. I had been going to my girl Mandy in Edgewater at Amazing Lash. She is the bomb. Go see her. Actually don't <laughs> because she's already booked up and it'll make it harder for me to get a last minute appointment if y'all go run into her but she's amazing and she's just like good vibe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. But then what happened was I went to Miami and Amazing Lash is a chain, so they have some out there. And I started to hop around. <laughs> I was getting I was getting in a few different eyelash beds. Full disclosure, I went through some shit this summer. I've talked about mental health a lot and I am prone to depression and anxiety. They can ramp those things up again. So I was crying a lot. I'm an empath. I will cry for anything. If I see a homeless man on the street, I can't look at him because it, it's detrimental to the rest of my day and my sanity and I can't, I can't deal with it. Uh, but my point is, I was crying a lot and as they tell you, when you have lash extensions, you can't get them wet in the first 48 hours and now I think you just can't get them wet, period. So they are getting stuck together and um, I kept going in, right? So like, I would go get them done and I would cry, it would get stuck together and I would go in to get them done. And I did that for like four weeks straight. And one of the girls that was working with me, she was like, are you like wetting your lashes or getting in a pool? What are you doing? Because they seem to be sticking together and you know, it's making, it's making it really difficult for me. I'm very blunt and I, although I like privacy and I pretend to be this introverted person, I will make you feel uncomfortable by being so forthcoming. I will tell you too much. So <laughs> when she said that, I was like, I've just been fucking crying a lot. I've been crying. So that's why my lashes are sticking together. And she was like, oh, okay, well, um, then maybe we take a break. I didn't listen to her, I was like, fuck that. When I got back to Chicago, I saw my lash girl here and I got them done and within a day, they all fell out. And when I started to look at my lash bed, I normally have very long lashes 
and they were so short. Like they're what they call baby lashes. Fast forward, I had decided to completely take a break. Um, the first few days was weird, but I will say the positives, the pros to not having lashes are I can really get into skincare. I feel like I'm, I'm not like worrying about anything or even with setting spray, I'm not like trying to figure out how to work around the lashes. And it just, um, it feels pretty good. Since I don't do so much, that was a, a major component that was missing to when I was getting ready. And I would feel like, you know, that's the final touch. That's like that pop. And I used to use strip lashes, but no. I have been using the Grande Lash. So you just... this i am about to put y'all on i don't know what this does i don't really know what's in this i should probably look into it but it's the lash coating nutrition and longer lasting eyelash ex extension i don't know what you call this serum water i don't use the same one on my eyebrows or my lashes so one is for my lashes the other is for my eyebrows i Again, since I don't do so much to my face, my brows used to be one thing that I used to really go at, right? And then after a while, I was like, why does my face look weird? Like I started to feel like I was doing too much and then I realized that I already have really, like this is no filled in, like I don't have them filled in. This is just strictly combed. I realized that I didn't comb my eyebrows. So I was just filling them in and I was filling them in completely wrong. What it was giving was Eugene Levy. <laughs> Have you guys seen Schitt's Creek or like Robert De Niro? I just look like bushy eyebrowed. I have a bad habit of asking what's the most expensive product <laughs> that a brand has because in my deluded mind, I think that that means that it's better. And um, I think this Big Ego by Tarte was like two bucks more than the Better Than Sex. So I was like, you know what? There must be a reason. I don't think there's a reason. I don't really like it. I was taught that you, right, especially since I don't have lashes, you start your first coat at the edge. Let it dry. It is from House of CB. I got it in a size medium, but then I went to the tailor because this was huge on me. Like, obviously the hips and the booty were good, but, ooh, ooh my ankle. Um, obviously the hips and the booty were good, but the waist, it, um, it was not. And it's comfortable to sit down in. Wow. So I don't look a lot different from what I look like normally. One hour later. No se ve muy oscuro, no. Are you telling me you're looking at it? Does it look good so I can start talking? Tera, si no, déjame ver porque no, no quiero, también no se te ven los pies para que para que se te vea. Tengo que hacer así. Mami, puede, you'll do a zoom up and down at one point, but just let me know if the light looks good so I can start talking. All right, guys, so this is the final product, the house of CB dress. I got my orange Alma, and I think it's Amani, Amina Muadi? I don't know, new designer. Um, but I like the orange. I feel good. I'm excited. I don't really know what is planned, so I guess we'll see. The card will be open later because I'm, I'm I'm soft and I will cry. Very cute, very cute. Yeah, this is good game wear. That'll, that'll be nice. <laughs> Another pair of shoes. 
at the CT for the winter. Is it the Papa or Ooh, it's Cree. That's the one they recommended that I get for you versus the baccarat. I know you like that one, but I didn't like it. No, babe. I I was confused between this one and the baccarat. They're back to the top. It's also a sample in there, too. I just want to get some of the sample of you. Okay, so this one is spring flower. I feel like this matches my outfit. Mama got a new purse, and it's nice. You know what's crazy? I've been wanting to use it. So hopefully you can use this daily, every day. <laughs> so you don't have to keep swapping them out. You can just rock with this one. That's your everyday grab. Oh, this is my everyday. Uh, you see a little bit, right? Which I'm candle. Quick outfit change. They blow the candle. These are my candles. Okay, okay. Blow the candles. Okay. Give Daddy another kiss and then you can blow the candles. Come on. Count to three. One, two, three. Thank you. You got it? Okay. Okay. Say bye, Mommy and Daddy. See you, Mommy. You just want cake? In the floor. Okay, baby, I love you. I'm vlogging floor and so. Okay. You can tell me how to Okay. Okay. Bye, mama. Bye, mommy and daddy. Bye, mommy and daddy. Bye, baby. G48. Throw me a little card. So cute.